Alright, so today I wanted to do a review of the Roku streaming stick, which is basically Roku's uh, cheapest way to create smart TV. <laughs> so if you don't have a smart TV or your smart TV doesn't work anymore because that's what happens and you got screwed because you didn't think about it logically, uh, here's an easy way for you to make your smart TV smart again. So the one thing I, I like about this, and the reason why I went with it, is because it is the most inexpensive way to do this. Uh, they have the other versions which have more features and stuff like that, but um, for the price, brand new, you can't beat this because it's like 40 bucks, you know. So this device being new is going to last longer than, say, buying an older device that uh, you would pay the same amount of money for that may not last as long. I made a video about this before on my other channel about smart TVs and kind of the downfall of smart TVs which is uh, the fact that the applications on here say like Netflix and all these little applications are stored on here. There's only so, ma so much amount of memory in this device so they can only update the app a certain amount of times before this device pretty much is no good. The same way with smart TVs, you can only do it so much. So this is the best and cheapest way to create a smart TV. The uh, only downfalls that I see of this is the fact that it does not have Ethernet. So there's no way to connect like a Cat5 or Cat6 line to it and like hardwired into the wall. It's all wireless. So you have to have a really strong wireless device. And uh, I don't have a problem with that because we have uh, two wireless networks in the house and one of them is strictly for the TVs. So we're good to go there. Um, this connects HDMI and just plugs right to the back of the TV. It has another plug that plugs in the back of this, plugs into the wall or the back of the TV via USB which will power it. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. It will make any dumb TV smart and it's pretty much the cheapest way to go and get longevity of life out of the device. So you can buy an older Roku device but it's, as soon as like the amount of updated space is depleted, then pretty much it's a brick. Throw it away. So these are throwaway devices in my, in my eyes. Uh, we will show you the, the little scratched up a little bit. <laughs> this is the remote. And the only thing that I don't like about, about the remote is the fact that you can't turn up and down the TV. So it is just for selecting the movies and uh, you can go to Netflix here, which we use, and the Amazon, which is right there that we use, which is the ones we use the most. We don't have any of the other stuff. We don't use the Blockbuster and stuff like that. It says you have over like 31,000 movies and 1,000 channels, which is basically just bullcrap. There's a lot of different things. You can get Netflix, you can get uh, Vimeo or, or Vivio or whatever they call it, uh, Plex. Um, Crackle, you can get the History Channel. There's a bunch of different things on here you can you can connect to and watch. And if you have like some of the different uh, things, like if you have in, like Redbox Instant, you can sign in. You have to have a service, though. It's not free just because you bought this. But uh, it works good. The other thing I liked about it is if you lose a remote, which I have a little girl who lives with us, so sometimes she picks up the remote, takes it with her. <laughs> I'm walking in the den, I'm like, where's the remote? The cool thing about it is they have an app that you can download on your, on your phone and you can control the TV from there. So you can still watch you know, TV until the little one brings back the remote or you find the remote somewhere. So that's another plus about it. Um, it definitely is uh, the cheapest way to go. Resolution is great. I don't have a problem with that. It actually works really good. And... Uh, I don't really have any problem with uh, latency or anything like that. It works good as long as you have a strong connection. So definitely the way to go. If you wanted to uh, create a smart TV or somehow get Netflix to your TV, you have an older TV, as long as you have an HDMI port. If your TV is really old and it doesn't have HDMI, you're pretty much screwed. But uh, yeah, definitely the way to go. All right, well, you guys take it easy. Peace out.